The first and only Hispanic radio station in Canada, from Toronto to the world. The circle of life. Oh, there you go, yeah! <laughs> it's infinity! I didn't know that. Yeah. Frida is a singer. Right? Good job. From Toronto, Nestor Hippolyta from Chicago, USA, the listening. Oh, wow. Atelina Bravo Carretas is uh, listening to us from, uh, I don't know if she's in Nicola or in Paranaque City right now. And Sonia Belanchik, uh, uh, she's a uh, uh, Polish or I think Ukrainian. And she's always, always listening to us. And she's from Stony Creek. Let me first introduce to you one of my co-hosts. <laughs> there you go. All of a sudden, she dropped her cell phone. She's texting. <laughs> she goes. You know, she's a very hardworking real estate broker and representative. And she is no other than Jennifer C. Good evening, Jennifer. Good evening, Kuya Roman. How are you tonight? Oh, Great, great. <laughs> I'd like to greet everybody. Thank you for listening to us uh, with our guest tonight, which is, uh, you'll meet a little, right. yes, later on. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, you'll hear more from Jennifer. I think she has some announcements to make. Yes. yes. Aside from uh, the prepared announcements I have here later on. And, uh, of course, as uh, Jennifer has said, uh, by the way, uh, some members of uh, the Oras and our radio staff, major staffers are supposed to be coming in, uh, like Faye and Odette and JP. Oh, oh June Javier is supposed to be coming in, but uh, I think I was not able to remind her of the show tonight. Anyway, this edition of Oras Radio Magazine is privileged to have as interview guest a celebrity stylist, a fashion designer, a graphic designer, and a blogger. We'll find out what she has in store for all the radio listeners of this worldwide radio show. Ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome to Orasna. Nisi Lexi. Good evening, Nisi. Good evening, good evening. Hello, Toronto and Canada. It's, it's a privilege to be here today. I'm so honored. All right. <laughs> what is your national background? It's always uh, a privilege for us here in uh, Oras not to ask the national background of uh, our guests. I am a because, Sudanese. Uh, you know that, uh, Toronto, <laughs> Canada is, uh, is, is a very diverse community. It sure indeed right. is. Okay. Yeah. Here as a um, Proud Sudanese wow. and Canadian. Yes, <laughs> nice. She was, uh, her national background is from Sudan. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful country. Thank you. Okay, and with her, of course, if there is a fashion designer, there's a, 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 a stylist, of course, there must be a model. Mm -hmm. well, she's acting up right now. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and design creators uh, together working with uh, uh, Missy Lexi here. And she is no other than Frida Goldman. Good evening, Frida. Good evening. How are you guys doing today? Great. And how are you doing tonight? I'm doing excellently. I got a last minute invite and I said, well, I absolutely have to make an appearance to help my lovely friend Nisi Lexi today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are friends for? That's indeed. right. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> okay, you will hear more about uh, uh, what they are about to uh, dish out in this radio show, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you, it will be very interesting. It's always very interesting of... Uh, uh, the topics that we talk about in this range of programs, especially when uh, Jennifer uh, C. invited. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we are Roman talking about friends. Yes. Our uh, friend Rosanna is is listening to us tonight. Oh, Rosanna, hi. <laughs> hi, Rosanna. <laughs> okay, and you'll hear more also from Frida and Lisa, as I have promised. And uh, so did I 
not mention about, uh, oh, not yet, eh? Oh, missy, missy. Yes. Um, it's, uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, the, uh, uh, being a blogger, what do you what do you blog? What do you what do you uh, announce to the world time and again? So the Nisi Luxi blog was generally created um, when my trip when I went to London, England uh, two years ago. London, England. Yeah. Okay. So I was I met up with my stylist and we were discussing how a lot of the emerging designers and entertainers they need to have certain qualifications to be able to recognize as um, somebody who's been established in the industry uh -huh. for top photographers, top designers mm -hmm. or magazine to feature them. So me okay. being in the industry for so long, I said I would create a platform to give those young startup and those young entrepreneurs a chance to have those in their resumes and that's where the Nisi mm -hmm. Luxi Blocks came about. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Are, uh, Thinking of humanity right on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Helping <laughs> others. And Nisi is yeah. very talented. I've seen your work. Thank you. It's yeah. very How good. Did yes. You, uh, Jennifer and Nisi um, meet? At okay. Mississauga Fashion Week. There you yes. go. Yes. yes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> good memory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Models is here with us. And she's in the person of uh, Frida. Goldman. Frida, uh -huh. Hi. Where, where did you where did you learn and how did you come to be a fashion model? Tell us. It was entirely by accident to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> Why? Um okay, so I was on Facebook, like, hanging out there looking at different photos, and one of my friends recently had gotten into modeling. She's not my friend anymore, by the oh. way. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to get into that. We're not going to get into that anymore. But, but, of course not. Of course not. So I basically was looking through... <laughs> so, um... I was looking through all the images that has been that were coming out from this friend's work and I was like, I like the photography, but I think the poses could be better. Maybe I'll just give it a shot. So I messaged one of the photographers and I was like, Hey, I've never done this before. Do you wanna shoot together? I think it'd be fun. And he goes, Okay, what concept are you thinking? And I'm like, Well, it's false, so Let's go, and then. That was also kind um, of. Like... The thing I we, I work a, a lot with the uh, artist as a was stylist. You working on the street in Toronto. <laughs> no, I was actually I styling. Kind of street urchin. <laughs> I, I, I like the way this girl walks. <laughs> okay, so I wish it was like that. <laughs> No, I was working with one of the Toronto-based Afrobeat artists in music video at the time, and I was styling for them. So they introduced me to um, Frida, and in light of that, we were just sitting in a room talking about the type of music we like, and it just happened to be the Korean pop culture music. And from there, we clicked. We never separated, and it's been what three years. Three years. Oh wow! <laughs> See, there you go. Networking friends. As a celebrity stylist. Have you had uh, uh, stage up your own gig or show? Yes, I actually been uh, doing a lot of event coordinating mm -hmm. and promotion really? in the cities. It's I started and giving chances to those like Frida. Yeah, yeah most definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. I started as a model myself, and I started modeling at the age of when, fourteen. When, when did you start uh, being a model? I was uh, fourteen years old in grade nine. Years yeah, old. very nice. <laughs> you you were already here in uh, in. Toronto. Yeah, I when I came to Toronto, that's when I started modeling. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. You were 14 and, uh, I was dragged in by accident. Was discover you again questioning you that uh, <laughs> that uh, So um, in grade nine, they were doing um, a, a school spirit assembly, and my sister and her friends wanted to have a collaboration for African fashion incorporated the show, yeah. and then they just told me like, "Oh, you look like a model. Come in and join." I didn't even have <laughs> High heels at the time, so I modeled bare feet. That was my first gig. Oh. <laughs> and then my picture ended up being in um, the school yearbook, and from there I just took it on. Oh, 
<laughs> and I was That's nice. Let's go back to Frida. Frida, you, you said uh, in the empty room while we were preparing for this show before the 8 p.m. slot came in <laughs> yeah. that uh, you, you're helping Nisi in the creations of designs and fashion. Yeah. Uh, so, how do you do that? Um, basically, I'll just randomly be in my room, like, fooling around with different objects and things, and then all of a sudden I think in my head, wait, this could be an amazing concept. I, uh, give her a call and I'm like, hey girl, I got a concept. I want you to think about it. Let me know what you think. And, uh, one of the ones that we're both very well known for is the industry backlash shoot. So, I was, uh criticizing how the modeling industry these days is focusing on women wearing less and less clothes and we've basically become puppets. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Did you say wearing less and less? Yeah. yeah. Less? It's true. Because <laughs> uh, nudity is now considered like the way to prove you're a real model. If you're able to model nude, you're a real model. But I was thinking in my head, but wait, why do we have to let mm -hmm. these strings be pulled to turn us into these I don't know, these clones of each other, where all you're seeing is naked bodies, where posing is not even that creative anymore because everything is the same. Oh, <laughs> so, um, the idea was to uh, make me into a, uh, a puppet or a marionette. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go back to that. I, I, uh, I believe, uh, Lisa, you don't make her a marionette or a puppet, right? No. <laughs> no, no, no. She designed the outfit. I designed the outfit for that theme. And <laughs> <laughs> but she can be my puppet. <laughs> oh, honey, you're my puppet. Global media promoters. So, what I do, I help. Uh, promote a lot of uh, events not only in Toronto but in the UK in Australia as well as Africa oh yeah so I Very get a lot of <laughs> yes. Yes. so I help them with content creation sorry Jennifer you can go ahead <laughs> yeah so I help them a lot with their content creations as well as graphic design for the blog and basically what I am really catering to them it's allowing a form of network and I feel like the social media it's allowed us to be able to connect even mm -hmm. though we will be in different part of the world but we're able to connect under one stream which is the social media and it gave mm -hmm. me the power to be able to do so mm -hmm. yeah, yeah I, I've seen her work and it's really it's very creative yes very creative and she has a lot of talents in her thank you you're welcome <laughs> Well, uh, you, you're just behind the scenes and you're trying to say I'm easy and uh, you're not uh, fashion modeling anymore? I you organize, but uh, you don't do the fashion modeling. I stopped modeling in 2017, oh, which is last year, because it's now taking... I'm trying to take care of the oh, brand and yeah, going global. Great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You're, you're my puppeteer, huh? You're my puppeteer? Yeah. Boo boo, I gave you the call and I'm like, girl, you're gonna make me into a puppet. <laughs> my interviews. <laughs> Say hello to Jennifer, guys. Everyone. <laughs> She's gorgeous, we know. I know she is. She's beautiful. Alright, so this is my friend Nisi of Lexi No Reverb. She's a beautiful human being inside and out. Heart. 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 <laughs> that was like a really messed up part right, right there. Um, how long do I got? This ain't work. This is fun.